yes, it was interesting. It was a Sunday night, just channel surfing and coming across 60 Minutes, and it caught our attention, and we thought we'd watch. And I looked at him jokingly and said, well, you know, what a fine specimen your brain would be, and uh, just made a joke of it. But as we watched the show, and uh, neither one of us had ever heard of CTE, and watching that, uh, we were interested. And at the end of the show, the segment that they announced that they needed hockey players' brains, uh, I just looked at Bob, and he said, absolutely, mm -hmm. didn't hesitate. And uh, not knowing, of course, that six months later that I would be doing just that. Certainly at the time, I would have never thought of putting the two together. Um, but now, of course, looking back, um, yes, definitely. Uh, you know, not, nothing major, but there were certain signs, yes. Uh, the short-term memory loss, um, the short fuse, definitely. HL, and I'm certainly not um, uh, wanting to talk about, you know, eliminating fighting from from the league. You know, I just wanted to um, raise awareness. Basically, it's it's part of the science. Uh, Bob wanted to donate his brain for a reason, and uh, to get the results put out there, is following through with that. I said he could remember th games from. 15 years ago, player who scored, uh, if he's playing blackjack, who had what hand, who had what money, what the dealer had. But if you asked him what he had for breakfast that day, he couldn't remember. Mm -hmm. That to me was the most significant one, I think, the short-term memory loss. I think basically what I really want, if I could have a wish list, would be just to get the guys uh, the information and hopefully get them on board and be involved in the study at some level, and just to know that it's, uh, you know, while they're playing, uh, the concussions, if they do, some might not even ever have had a concussion. I mean, Bob certainly didn't. When I watched the show with him, 60 Minutes, I mean, I looked over at him and I asked him point blank, have you ever had a concussion? That's the first time I ever asked him. I didn't know. He didn't even know. He was guessing at three or four. He wasn't sure. But basically, for the guys to have the knowledge, to know that the study is ongoing, and that to get involved with it is something that's really important to me mm -hmm. at this point. Because it's tough, let's face it. I mean, it is what it is. Bob's not here, and uh, but they, I got to follow through with that for him, so. Mm -hmm.